Hey, what's going on guys? Dopeslayer930 here with an unboxing video for you guys today. A little different setup. I had to kind of change um, my unboxing area in my room. I don't actually have it anymore, so I'm doing this video in a different place. Um, but basically what we have in front of us here is the Pico Hot End from B3 Innovations. Um, they were awesome enough to send me out one of these to install and review. I'm going to be installing this into my DaVinci printer. Um, basically the reason why I wanted this is because this hot end will allow you to print um, which some people call like exotic filaments, but Basically, you've got things like Ninja Flex, which is a type of filament, which is almost a rubbery material, um, as well as nylon, as well as um, they have like wood filaments and the various other filaments that the default uh, extruder cannot print on the, uh, you can't use it on the DaVinci. Well, by installing this, it'll allow you to print those other filaments, and I really wanted to do that for um, other projects and just certain things I wanted to print out, like um, for just one random example, there was a foam cover I wanted to print out, um, but without having that Ninja Flex uh, material, it doesn't really work with the hard shell, um, you know, PLA or ABS uh, plastic that I printed out. So, anyways, in this video, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and then I will follow this up in the following weeks here with an uh, install video. It's probably not going to be like a step by step, it's going to be more so like um, maybe a, um, a time lapse type thing, and then I'll show it afterwards, and then I'll also follow it up with some test prints once I get some Ninja Flex and some nylon and things like that to see how well it prints and how well it holds up and stuff like that. So basically on the front we've got a picture of the Pico Hot End uh, which is kind of like a unibody design which is supposed to help out with um, you know problems I guess there are jams and clogs and things of that nature because there's less um, you know less things going on it's just a solid piece. So on the side of it it basically just has uh, it says Pico and then it says 500 Celsius capable um, it says print on printers Pico um, on the back side, we've got a little bit of information about what we get in the box and um, just little little things about the Pico. It says, Pico's every component feature material is purpose built with unparalleled quality standards. The result is the hottest, fastest, uh, and the hottest, lightest, and smallest all metal universal hot end print on printers. So it's an all metal solid structure, thermistor revolution, an engineered smart, strong strain relief secures the thermistor with a twist for a clean and reliable assembly, eliminating the archaic use of captain and Overthought set screws forever, leak free nozzles, maximum heating, and rapid cooling. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a first look at it itself. Take the lid off. I kind of I cut the plastic earlier already. Um, it also says on the bottom here, we've got a little bit of information. It says required tools is a 7mm socket and driver and a 13mm wrench, and it also has some compatible printers, um, you know, some of them, and it says and more. Uh, and it says some modifications to your printer may be required. With the DaVinci, someone I saw on Thingiverse created a um, adapter that will allow you to install it. So I'm lucky that I won't have to do any kind of um, designing myself. But here we have the hot end itself. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I've got the wiring hooked up to it. Let's take this whole thing out. Probably easier to go this way. Yeah, look at that. So, We've got the hot end itself right here, which looks really nice. Um, again, it's solid, solid metal piece, so it's really, really secure and, I mean, just looks nice. We've got the no nozzle on the bottom right here. Uh, we've got a little Hello Read Me First Quick Start Guide, which is going to have assembly, removing brass nozzle, inserting brass nozzle. Um, you've got everything from mounting, fan positioning, setting the Z height, ensuring proper alignment, starting a print, material printing temperatures, assembly maintenance, and troubleshooting. So they give you a little bit of everything. It's got pictures and diagrams, which is really awesome for them to include that just to kind of make the install hopefully a little less of a headache. Um, we've got a little warning for caution. Um, you know, burn hazard, fire hazard, electrical shock, hazardous fumes, choke hazard, sharp edges. So just to, you know, be careful basically when you're working with this because it can get extremely hot and there's fumes that are going to be created. Um, we have got a bracket for, I believe this is a mounting bracket right here. <clears throat> we have got, let's see what else. We have got another, I don't even know what this piece is called. Let me see if it shows in here. Um, groove mount. Okay. So yeah, you've got two different types of mounts. I didn't know which I would need, so I ended up having them send me both. This is right here, the flat mount. This right here is the groove mount, depending on what printer you have. Um, you know, install may be a little bit different. Then we have got, let's see, this piece right here, which is going to be, uh, um, it says B3 High recommends use of, is it for the Bowden? Oh, no, this is uh, actually, it looks like the filament feeds 
it looks like the filament three, uh, feeds through this piece. I don't know much about this. I haven't really messed with hot ends too much, so this is like my first time installing one. So as I go, I'm sure I'll learn more so what these things, you know, what all these parts are used for. Um, and you know, then I'll be able to obviously explain it a little bit better off. We have got another uh, replacement nozzle. They have different sizes on them. This one is point five zero, and I think the one installed is point four zero. So depending on what kind of filament you're using, you might want a different size nozzle. So I got both .40 and .50 just again um, for peace of mind to have it. They do sell replacements and, and extras and all that good stuff. And lastly, we have got the fan right here. Um, if you have the DaVinci printer, I believe there's already a fan in, uh, well I know there's a fan in there. So I believe you can just use that fan, but they do include a fan which you will need to mount and again, um, Luckily for me, with my printer, someone on Thingiverse already created a, um, a STL file so that way I can download it and I'm going to use their 3D model or 3D design already. So uh, anyways, let's take one last little closer look at the actual Pico hot end itself. Um, again, really nice looking piece, um, but again, more so what I'm more concerned with, you know, compared to overall look and build is going to be how the prints turn out once it's all set up. So again, it will take some time. My plan is I'm really, really busy um, doing things over the next week or so here. So once I have a free moment, I'm going to you know tackle this project. And like I said, I will do like a time lapse of it. And afterwards, I will talk about any issues I ran into or any any kind of comments or things that I feel like are noteworthy um, about this specific hot end. Uh, I will link also in the description for those of you that are interested in purchasing this hot end or want to just find out more for yourself about it. Um, links will be in the description for that. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget the like button and I will see you in my next video. Dopes Wonder and I'm out. Peace, guys.